Tonight is the night that we probably just kept egging on and egging on and egging on because we never had the engine. Well, luckily, Louis picked up the engine last Friday. That was the 24th, right? That sounds about right. 24th? 24th. Yeah, yeah. The 24th. So we're within three weeks of From yesterday. Three, three weeks. Day. Yeah, three weeks from, would be yesterday from the race day. So it's going to be a bit of a push. We got some extra help coming out tonight. Um, drug Shane out here. He drugged him. Drugged him. He drove beer. Yeah, well, I had to drug him with some alcohol and beer in the fridge, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah more drug him. I'm sure he was busy tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instead of yeah. he was sitting here waiting for us. <laughs> As <laughs> usual. <laughs> when, he, when he asked Shane to come, he was always like, yep, yeah. I'm early. <laughs> uh, so he we got the, last. got the engine here. We'll go over it a little bit more in depth as we're putting it together. So the idea is to what? What is your plan with it? Besides just putting it's it try us tonight? Yes. Yeah. Get everything in, get it, get it down tight. What's your steps process? What would you want to do well, first? Well, I think we're going to start by putting the, the shot. We're going to put the clutch together and put that on the back of the uh, engine. Bell holding is still in the car. Uh, we're actually going to take that out, put that on, and then put the transmission on. And uh, you're pointing out a frame, by the way. You're probably getting out of the frame if I did that. They've seen the transmission. They're kicking it around for four months. They're probably going to see it. Um, yeah, I think we're going to try to put it all together. Yeah. And then try and slide it all in as one because uh, it's not so bad to put the transmission up in the car. But sometimes the splines, the transmission splines, you can yeah, see oh yeah. If you've ever, if you ever put a, a transmission into into the, the splines on this and the back of the engine like that, it's kind of it can be a pain in the butt when you're up in there trying to get the alignment tool to be set in there perfectly and having it go in without a big issue. Um, it, and getting it to see is kind of annoying. You got to be like, you got to get a jack underneath there and hold it up and push it in. And, you don't want it to like tilt too far because you don't want to mess things up. So there's a lot of little variables that when it's in the car and we're seeing how we already have the car pretty much gutted and ready to go, it's just going to be kind of a yeah. kind of slide it in kind of situation. So uh, we'll get you in there. Uh, we'll probably set up maybe a couple little time lapses and things like that with us putting the transmission on the back. But we'll probably maybe we'll do a little demo on the alignment tool and things like that. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. So, Put on uh, we'll catch you here in a second and uh, get this thing ready to go. You ready? I'm ready. It's be a little bit of a thrash. I think we got enough, to, we got enough time. We might have to, you know, there might be a couple things we might have to, like, the faint, like making things look completely pretty right away it might be the last things we do. Oh, that'll be the last thing. We might be putting stickers on with big bubbles in it at the track, which hasn't been, wouldn't be the first time we've done that. We won't do that. And they'll we probably, won't, they probably won't stick. Friday off, so, yeah. They'll make you park it, you know what I'm saying? If anybody's watching that, they'll get it. You gotta be doing it. Eh, she might not know. Anyway, <laughs> but in the cold weather, I'm sure those, when we put the vinyl stickers on, I'm sure they will just rip right off of there. It's not going to be 75 again? Might be 45. <laughs> 45, so, 75, same thing, right? Yes. Sun's out shining. Yep, 45 degrees Celsius. All right, guys, we'll get you in here in a second and uh, get this thing going. I am getting the clutch kind of lined up here. So, they can see it. They can see it too. Probably the bolt I'm looking for. Probably not. Um, so, these, this is just a five and a half inch clutch, right? If you look at your street clutch, it's probably. It's 10 to 12 inches probably, and it's probably just a single disc. This is a three disc, and the reason they have three is because the clutch is so small, it's only five and a half inches. So you still got to have that surface area to hold the power from the motor, so you got to have extra 
extra discs, friction discs in the clutch set. And um, another thing that's a big difference is these things really don't have like a true flywheel, like a big flywheel. Sometimes we don't have one laying around here maybe, but there's one yeah. up on your motor, but it's covered if, up. If you don't know what a large flywheel looks like, well, yeah. ring your call button, we'll have Tommy come back there and hit you in the head with a cat. So it basically looks like a big brake yeah. disc, right? They're well, thick and they can get warped from heat and all that. Well, the idea of a flywheel on an engine, and specifically on a streetcar engine, is to carry mass on, a, on the spinning engine so it's, it's nice and fluid when you're shifting, but you don't need all that mass on a race car. You need it to wind up real quick, and you're not really worried about drivability, right? That's why if you ever go to a racetrack and you watch these things try and get through the pits, they're jumping all over the place and doing all this crazy stuff because there's no mass in this drive line. It's just on and off. So, but they do have a tiny little flywheel. This is probably, I don't know, a pound and a half maybe, something like that. And that bolts right on the back of the tank. So we're just gonna keep piecing this together and this will be a big thing to get this part done. Um, I'll show you the alignment too in a little bit and then we'll slide the trans on. And Insertion? Yeah. You didn't forget the clock ring, did you? <laughs> no, this isn't that kind of situation. We'll see. <laughs> Big moment. Big moment right here. I really thought that was a long time. Yeah. It, it has. <laughs> I think even last year when we had this motor fixed.
guys saw the thrashing right there. We, we got a lot done tonight. I think we got done a little bit more than we wanted, or that we inspected anyways, but um, we ran into one little snag at the end here, but it's probably more of us just being a little tired and not thinking through some of the process of it. Um, but yeah, we're, we're just probably back on track. Oh, are, are we gonna make it? Are we back on track? So, um, get this video out to you guys, and you kind of see it. I'll probably put most of this in kind of like a sped up motion here, where you're just going to see us like throwing parts at it and, and Louis yawning in the video. So, I'll keep that in there. That'll be good. Um, so, we'll get next week. We'll probably, maybe we'll probably have it fired up next week, I'm guessing. Well, yeah, I, I, think, I think that's a major goal because then, then the following Monday is our last official shop night. Before we go, before we go racing, so Yikes. and that's like set up night. And I'm I'm hoping that it snows. Maybe, that, maybe, I'm maybe hoping we'll, it snows that weekend. Maybe we'll get it running this weekend instead. I don't know about that idea. At least get it to the point where we, all we have to do is turn the key on. Hit day. the button. And, uh, so it's moving. It's moving. Shane. <laughs> Shane the gremlin. Shane. He's still curious. All right, guys. Well. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe if you guys like what's going on. But we're going to make some noise here in the next couple of videos. Um, but thanks, guys, for watching.